Hi, this is the introductory lecture for um, lecture three. Uh, and in lecture three, this is a very important lecture. What we're going to do is go over the basics of optimal control. And I start out by simply introducing uh, what is an optimal control problem, uh, the basic elements to it, and then we set up and present the transverse or the um, the basic optimization criteria, the first order conditions of an optimal control problem. And you need to remember these. These are very important. What is the Hamiltonian? What does it look like? And then that we need to, the first um, uh, optimization criterion is that we maximize the Hamiltonian with respect to our choice variables. Uh, the second is that when we take the derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to the state variable, we get minus the uh, differential equation with respect to the co-state variable. Uh, the third and f the third um, condition simply states that the state equation needs to hold. And then the fourth condition is the transversality condition, and we're going to go into that in more detail. Uh, basically, that's the most important elements of Lecture 3. And then the rest of the notes simply goes through some examples. Uh, the first um, example is really straightforward. Uh, you should follow the steps and see how we go through it, but uh, I think you'll see very quickly that it's uh, quite easy. Uh, the second example is uh, a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's a simple consumption problem. Uh, again, you should not have too much difficulty with this, uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get uh, the solution and follow how we get it. Um, and uh, uh, the third example uh, is a resource management problem uh, taken from the resource economics um, literature. Again, in each case, we simply set up the, formally set up the optimization problem. We uh, state the Hamiltonian. We take the first order conditions. And then it's simply a matter of uh, practice and art to determine how you go about solving this optimization problem. Uh, I hope these uh, set of examples give you uh, a good, clear introduction to how to use optimal control to solve dynamic optimization problems. See you in class.